Hi everyone, here we are in week two. This week we're going to talk about advocacy. Our student competency for this week is to demonstrate and advocate for professionalism and accountability to change the decisions of organizations for the delivery of standard-based nursing care consistent with moral, altruistic, ethical, regulatory, cultural, and humanistic principles in the community through healthcare policies. Our discussion question gives us a scenario and they ask us to des describe the delivery of moral and altruistic care for this patient and his family and then to demonstrate how we would provide ethical standard-based care. I think that ethics um, is evident in the delivery of our nursing care. Probably every shift or every day that we work we come across some kind of an ethical dilemma. whether it be um, patient end-of-life issues, um, issues with patients and family prolonging life, um, whether it be working with an impaired colleague, or maybe difficult issues with family members. I think that we deal with this kind of stuff on a daily basis. I recommend this book um, to you to read. Um, when you have some spare time, maybe after this program, but it has a lot to do with morals and ethics and regulatory and humanistic principles. Um, it is about Hurricane Katrina, um, and when Hurricane Katrina struck, it devastated many of the hospitals down in New Orleans. This particular hospital, um, Memorial Hospital, um, this book is written by uh, a doctor um, that experienced um, some of the things that were going on here at Memorial Hospital. Anyway, um, she provides um, a clear timeline of how the social framework and other mores governing our, our everyday life start to break down, both inside and outside the hospital. So things happen that you would never do at any other time. Uh, we see how the uncoordinated and effective initial disaster response leads to further hopelessness. Now, what happened is physicians and nurses had to start making up their own triage methods. Um, all of the electricity went out in the hospital. All the windows were broken. They had to get patients up onto the roof and into the garages just to get them some cooler, clean air. Um, they started to triage um, patients, giving last priority to any patient that had a DNR status, no matter what their current condition was. And then they started to euthanize patients that they knew they couldn't save. Some patients were on, on ventilators and some patients were just simply too big for the healthcare providers to get through the small passages that they had to use to get up to the roof because there were no elevators. Um, anyways, it, it makes you start to think about this expectant death category of triage, which they were using a lot in New Orleans at the time, and um, it had never been used before. So it kind of makes you think about future disasters and um, what we may or may not do if put in that um, position. This is just a picture of one of the nurses trying to keep a patient comfortable up on the, I think this is actually in the um, garage. Our assignment this week requires us to advocate to change the delivery of standard-based care with culture and humanistic principles in the community through policies. Discuss current legislation, laws, rules, and regulations surrounding the needs, issues, and identify what actions need to be developed, changed, or modified. This um, assignment asks you to pick um, a patient or family that you, um, it doesn't have to be that you have now, but it could be somebody that you have dealt with in the past. Again, another book recommendation. Um, this book is called The Spirit Catches You When You Fall Down. And it actually highlights the problems that patients and families of different cultures have in our healthcare environment. It not only highlights the um, um, language and literacy problem 
um, but it really focuses on the culture. This was a little child, um, a little Hmong child from Laos um, who had severe epilepsy. And both the, the family and the medical um, field wanted what was best for her, but because of the culture, um, it not, wasn't necessarily the same thing. Again, um, very interesting. And this is just a few of the federal advocacy issues that nurses are involved in today. Um, gun violence, our nursing shortage. I know it's probably hard for you to believe that there is a nursing shortage because most of us are very short staff, but there is an impending shortage, um, a bigger shortage coming soon as baby booming nurses start to retire and actually end up as patients themselves. Um, another issue is appropriate staffing, workplace health and safety from needle safety to back safety, environmental health, healthcare reform, nursing workforce development. How can we get more people into nursing? How can we get more BSNs? How can we get more um, nurse practitioners, uh, more educators, and um, home health issues? So I wish you a good week. Just a picture of one of my happy places. Again, I ask that you contact me by email if you have any questions or use the Q&A that's right in the Canvas module. And I'll see you soon online. Thanks.